Greetings once again, heroes and villains out there. This is then back again with more of Batman Cape Crusader, where previously Gotham found itself being robbed and assaulted, mostly by things that were in benefit to the poor, by, of all things, a gentleman goat from back during the days of the British ruling over the colonies and such, believing that the lower class deserved no rights. So Batman found himself in a bit of a conundrum, how do you deal with a ghost? Turn to the occult, of course, with a little help from Papa Midnight, Bruce was able to find a way to seal away James Craddock, handed over to Papa Midnight as recompense for his services. Unfortunately, the rash of thefts ended up smearing Harvey Dent in the process, especially as his opposition in his bid to become mayor has also been slandering him, with supporters pulling out left and right. Harvey finds himself getting desperate, turning to none other than the underworld boss, Rupert Thor. But it's only a matter of time before Harvey finds out that when you dance with the devil, you tend to get your toes stepped on. What'll happen next? Join me as I find out, won't you? Oh, courthouse? Oh, ah, uh, helping people. Aww. Barbara, I love you. We're more than the bad choices we make. Ugh. As someone who's made a lot of bad choices, those can be some very encouraging words to help you get back on your feet after a rough go of things. Hmm. I hope this guy turns out alright. Jim. Buddy. Criminal let off of the technicality. Wow. I hope you actually know a lot of details about this case. Prison can't always be the default. There has to be an understanding of the level of certain crimes, circumstances, and seeing if there's an actual bit of remorse in the person, depending on whether or not it's their first offense, second, third. Shoot, if you never understand the circumstances of why somebody does a crime, then you just continue to have more and more crime. Then again, maybe that's what the cops want. I'm getting a little too political already. <laughs> I'm a little too hardwired into Barbara's side on things. Wow, he's an absolutionist. Just believes that when somebody does something bad, that's on them. They deserve the full weight of things. Ah, uh, hmm. Ugh, don't, don't do this to Gordon. And especially if he actually grew up in a bad neighborhood. Well, maybe it wasn't a bad neighborhood back in his day. Ugh. Then again, even good people can have very unsavory viewpoints uh, whoa wait though what oh, oh what 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 who the who the what happened <laughs> hey corrigan just corrigan stayed strapped oh i feel like this is the episode where jim gordon learns the lesson about circumstances wait dead shot hey is he still alive <laughs> or was he shot dead but um it's actually funny because you got to see him in his original appearance back before he had the mask with the red visor and all that and that became his iconic look he was just a dude in the suit word went out a hit on gordon a hit on gordon for what shit he's been so neck deep in other forms of paperwork that what could he have done to have a hit put out on him unless they just want somebody else in the commissioner seat uh they want to start roughing up people but you make more enemies doing it that way man doing doing it doing it where you start just shaking down everybody you know puts more eyes on the hit and more people willing to gun for gordon or the case but work it smart yeah she has a point dude you need to kind of go underground but then again that would show that he's running scared uh he he should have protection because the moment he dies that shows that the police aren't untouchable that emboldens more criminal activity. Yeah, why wouldn't it be Thorn? Man, I would not sit next to a window. Ah, that is a good point. The moment Gordon's out of the picture, picture Flask and Bullock are... <laughs> they're already unhinged enough as it is. Mm, actually, Berber would be worried after everything that happened with Harley. Good friends. And they always looking out. Unless they go for Barbara too. Or is she trying to research who might be behind this? Mm. Oh, I was thinking maybe he was going to show up. <laughs> I mean, it's his show after all. <laughs> you know how we talked about Harvey and Flash not going around, beating up people, shaking them down for answers? Yeah, I probably should leave that to Batman. <laughs> From inside Blackgate? Oh, someone he locked away. I mean, 30 years. Yeah, 
But, but man, how? Why now? It would it have? It would have to be someone he recently put away, right? Why wait any long amount of time to try to get back at him? And then he's gone. And he's gone. Yep, little Irish guy. <laughs> A good way of showing the corruption inside the prison as well. I get it, a criminal, but was what he did really worth getting beaten to death? Jeez. OG 50, but oh my god. Thank you, Batman. <laughs> How do you like getting beaten? Who could it be, though? Oh, who the hell? He put a price. Are you sure? Did they just go through him? Yeah, a middleman. Muller. Complication. This doubled for. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That's a lot of guys. Wait, who? <gasps> Onomatopoeia? What? Okay, Onomatopoeia has been used a lot lately. Between having the version of Onomatopoeia in Superman and Lois, and now here? Jeez. Not that I'm complaining. I love Onomatopoeia. <laughs> Whether you give them superpowers or not. Oh my god, Onomatopoeia. He's not the biggest bad guy. Usually it's a Green Arrow villain, but it's hilarious how he's been fighting everyone but Green Arrow lately. But man, this is so cool. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you oh thank you oh is it muller oh oh wow he went for it oh, with the bible all right it might have just been a random book that's oh, that this might be my favorite episode look i'm sorry the moment you put onomatopoeia in something oh baby oh yeah of course gordon's someone who doesn't like to be fussed over yeah, who's the young guy so corrigan renee this is standard procedure hey gordon you're someone who does things by the book, and yet you're pushing to the side procedure. Nah, man. Oh, it's like I'm strapped. Ooh, Barbara has a good point. If someone comes after you at your home, there. This is a this is a residential area, man. Women, children, anybody could be hurt. Don't be stubborn, old man. Yep, kids. Mm-hmm. Right across. <laughs> Hit him with logic he can't deny. Really. <laughs> are hired killers victims of circumstance man gordon i didn't know you to be so petty <laughs> yeah people on either side just in case uh you know hmm who's calling or was it oh batman was actually trying to hit him up no see i'm actually surprised batman didn't put a tracer on gordon that way he'd have tabs on where he was at any given time but he might not have that available to him at this point where are they headed to anyway? Uh-oh, car riding up on you. Is that one of yours? That's not one of yours. Marcus. Mm. Uh-oh, jeez. Oh, yep. Yeah. Marcus, you are here to get shot. Jeez. Good job keeping your foot on the gas, Marcus. Jeez. Um, sharp turn. Oh, dang, she took it like a champ. And they did not. Jeez. Oh, yeah. And it exploded for good measure. I was kind of wondering. Ooh, they did. They did. Somebody needs to form a little. Oh, there you go. Oh boy. That's a lot of smoke coming out. Yep. I was wondering. Oh, they managed to get the radiator too. Huh. Right. It's like the fact that they managed to come at you in a friggin' police car. Like, um, that's a red flag if I ever saw one. Hey, that guy's name is not Marcus Driver, is it? Oh my god. I'm looking at the IMDB and it says James Arnold Taylor, Marcus driver mm, you're being real cute wayne gardens huh oh is this what um lucius was trying to establish or is it something else oh they're already in construction low-income housing uh oh he's cold that's not good he's probably lost a lot of blood oh they went rogue hmm follow the tracks oh it's leaking oil right blip 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 <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Okay, two cars worth of people. Not the worst. Ah, uh, an officer where they're not supposed to be. That's the tip off. Huh. Uh, yeah, she ain't in good condition. And she has a point. You would hope that you'd be able to trust more people. Doesn't feel like Gotham. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, right. Didn't Jim move out of Gotham? Or usually Jim's not from Gotham in most continuities either. Where did Barbara grow up? Ellsworth Hills. Hmm. Huh. You know, I never actually think about the fact that there's a suburbs outside of Gotham. Oh, it's still Gotham. Hmm. Oh, jeez. I already found you. Jeez. Bang. <laughs> oh, man. He got you 32? Damn right. <laughs> Again, we stay strapped. I actually love this because in most continuities, Jim would never even roll. 
remotely allow Barbara to have a weapon of any kind in her vicinity. <laughs> now it's just like, you pack it? Always. We live in Gotham, Dad. It's just like, that's my girl. <laughs> Uh, that's the good stuff. No one out back? Okay, nope, they're in the bushes. Ooh, dang. Nice. Corrigan is a damn good shot. Oh, and so is Barbara. But do you have spare ammo? Okay, Jim does. Ooh, damn. Oh, Batman. Yeah, they're too distracted. Good stuff. Smoke bomb. Another man in a mask. Intriguing. Oh, this has gotten real fun. <laughs> nice. Looney Tunes this ass. Oh, he's just observing. Ooh. Damn! There you go, Barbara. <laughs> Work on your backhand. Your foreswing. Golf terms. <laughs> Barbara, you should have made sure he was done. Ooh, nice. Got him with the rolling pin. Okay. Game recognizes game. Whoosh. <laughs> Ooh, he's... Crack. <laughs> Stomped. <laughs> Whoosh. Bim, bam, boom. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. You don't make the sound effects when you get hit. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> ooh, oh, he's got a knife. Ooh, 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 jeez. Ooh, nice, Barbara. Oh, he's got a coffee pot. Ooh. Jeez. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that got intense. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Did he get him in the throat? Pow. Damn. <laughs> that was good. Okay. Wait. It was a misdirect. The commissioner wasn't the target. Who was the target? Or was it Barbara? What? No. Where my client? Corrigan. No. In some co continuities, Corrigan is corrupt. I've gotten so used to him being good from the Spectre, I sometimes forget. Corrigan isn't always a good guy. Especially beforehand. Oh my god. Why talk? Why not just take her out? Oh, use his gun. Yeah, you took a little too long on that one, Corrigan. <laughs> Dang. Nice. Dang. One of his own men. God damn. I'll be honest. I kind of thought it was going to be this guy. <laughs> Driver. Nah, they didn't even unmask him. <laughs> Man, really? Corrigan. Circumstance, huh? But why would the client want her done in? Because he, he was, she wasn't able to get him off? Okay, I guess we're about to find out. No, she doesn't care about the hit anymore. He wants to know why. Yeah, you don't deserve to be here, and yet you put a hit out on her, dude. Jeez. <laughs> what Corrigan did might have shaken Jim a little, but man, she tried for you. Yeah, it wasn't the best situation, but damn, to have taken it this far. Jeez. See, I'm glad, to a certain degree. I'm glad that we kept those moments that were in Batman the Animated Series where it was always kind of a question of your morals, what you stand for, and can you still stand for them in the face of something that really kind of shakes your opinion of things. I mean, time and time again, we see throughout this series Barbara's perception of things being challenged from Harley to now this. She tries to do the right thing, but time and time again, it's almost as though she's almost punished for it. Her want to believe in people. I mean, Bruce was out of line when he said it, but he hasn't always made the best choices on who she tries to go to bat for. But at the same time, if she didn't at least try, then why be cynical? Why be constantly doubting people? That's just a miserable existence. But now she might second guess a lot of things. Did the best for this client and he tried to have her killed. Like, yeah, prison's no fun, but to really go that far? Hey, I don't even know what the charge he was put in for was. Did they even say, or did I miss it? I do really appreciate the journey that a lot of the characters around Batman tend to have, and Batman's unwillingness to also not develop. So stuck in his crusade and his rage. Onomatopoeia was fun for the moment that he appeared, but oh, it was the story that really sold it, and I think that was a good way of doing things. This one really got me. This one really nailed it. Good stuff, good stuff. But let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Deuce This Din, and I hope to see you later. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.